All persons are innocent unless found guilty or plead guilty in a court of law. Prime time disclaimer is for fair use. See beginning of video for details. And enjoy the show. Thank you. It's Jesus Salazar Mendoza. Yeah, I'm right here. Hi, Mr. Um, Salazar Mendoza. You're before the court for no license, uh, license not in person, and speeding 26 to 30 over the limit. Uh, did you wish to represent yourself or do you need an attorney to represent you? Well, Your Honor, per the calendar, it appears that Attorney Stuttered is on the defendant's second case. So I'm not sure if he's also on this case as well, but Attorney Stutter is listed as attorney of record for the second case. Okay. Um, hmm. Ms. Val, do you know whether Mr. Um, Stuttered is representing Mr. Um, Salazar Mendoza on both? I'm sorry, but I think he told me he wasn't. I think it was, he just told me on the DUI case. Okay, so what's happening with this case? Did you wish to represent yourself or did you wish to have an attorney? Um, well, I guess if you have Mr. Stuttered, I can't appoint. Did you wish to hire another attorney to assist you? Um, I, uh, well, it's just the speeding tickets, right? It, yeah, it's license not on person and speeding. Would it be just like fines and stuff, or um, we can hear from the state, Miss Hagler. What is your recommendation on um, Mr. Salazar Mendoza's first case? Um, as far as the first case, um, Mr. Salazar Mendoza, do you have valid proof that you have a valid license today? Uh, yes, okay. Uh, yes, Okay, um, so I'm gonna send you my email once I get that documentation that I can adjust my recommendation. But for the speeding, it is a fine of $100. $100? Yeah, yes. so it'd be $151.50 with the surcharges for the speeding. Okay, I, I can pay that today. Okay. okay, let me send you my email and you can send me proof of the yes. valid license. So give okay. me one second to you direct in the tab. Okay, so thank you. License. All right. The next case is Van R. Sanders Jr. for a traffic violation. Usually that means a red light or a stop sign, Mr. Sanders. Um, did you need an attorney to represent you or did you wish to represent yourself? Oh, you got to unmute for me, Mr. Sanders. I didn't hear any of that. Let's see, hold on a second. Can you hear Wait. me now? I hear you now. All right, okay. so, sir, it's a traffic violation. Did you wish to speak with the state or did you need an attorney to represent you? Uh, I wish to speak to the state. All right, um, Ms. Hagler, it's a traffic violation for Mr. Um, Sanders. Yes, Ryan, the state's offer is a fine of $100. All right, so Mr. Sanders, the $100 fine would be $151.50 with the surcharges. Um, and I could give you up to 60 days to pay. I'm gonna give you 30 days anyway, because you're not at the courthouse. Ma'am, my yes. thing is, my thing is, can I explain what happened that night? I'm a CDL driver and I take my license. Well, okay, okay, then this is what I'm telling you. I can't, have, so it's not like guilty with an explanation. I can't hear the case unless I'm hearing it from both sides in a trial. What I can do is give you the opportunity to enter a not guilty plea. And then if you want to go to trial, um, you can have a bench trial before just a judge or you, those come up quicker. And we do those by video. Also, uh, we do a hybrid so you can do courtroom or video or you could have an actual jury trial. I understand the implications of having a CDL and having a, a violation, which is why I give this announcement every time. So. It may have no effect on your um, license, but it may have a big effect depending on what your record is and what the rules are. What I would suggest to you is if you need more time, take it in the form of a not guilty plea. But otherwise, okay. I can't hear from you know you and decide the case today. Yeah, well, definitely not guilty. Okay, thank you, sir. So this is what's going to happen. Um, you'll get uh, notice of the next uh, cat trial calendar. Um, if you wish to gather any evidence that you have um, that supports your not guilty, you may wish to present that. Like I said, this is the state's burden to prove the case against you, but you may have information that may help um, to uh, preserve your situation. So if you want to do that, make sure at the time that your case is called for trial, whether it's a bench trial or a jury trial, that you have that information and any witnesses available to you. Okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, thank you, sir. I've recorded your not guilty plea and you're free to go at this time. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Hayward, Ms. Hagler. All you're right. Welcome. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. All right. Mr. Bush, raise your right hand for me.
You solemnly swear or affirm any testimony you give in this matter will be true. Yes. All right, so you can put your hand down. You're before the court on state of Georgia versus state of Georgia versus Ben Bush. Uh, 2021 CR 08274 for no license. Um, you're represented by Mr. Taz Taylor of the law firm of Lister Holt and Dennis. Mr. Taylor, what does your client plead to the offenses before the court? Your Honor, my client pleads no low contender. All right. By entering a plea of no low, Mr. Bush, you give up the right to have a trial by jury or judge. You give up the right to have the state prove your guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. You give up the right to have the presumption of innocence in your favor. You give up the right to confront witnesses, subpoena witnesses, present testimony and evidence on your behalf, to not incriminate yourself or present any testimony or evidence against yourself. And if you're not a United States citizen, a plea of guilty or no contest could negatively impact your immigration status. Do you understand all of these things? Yes. All right. Factual basis and recommendation, please. Your Honor, on or about June 30th of 2021, Officer Christopher North and Nancy O R R I A. Had the citation driving without a valid license. Um, these this event did occur in Clayton County, Georgia. At this time, Your Honor, the state's recommendation is going to be a fine of one thousand dollars. All right. So, Mr. Bush, the one thousand dollar fine is going to be one thousand four hundred and twenty dollars. Um, Mr. Taylor, how long does your client need to pay the offenses before the court? Will he need family hey, probation? Can you, can you pay the full amount or just the thousand dollar fine? Can you do one thousand four hundred and twenty? One thousand four hundred and twenty, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Uh, he's prepared to pay the thousand dollars today. We're checking on the additional court fees. Uh, I believe he's going to need some additional time for the. All court. right. Would um, sixty days be sufficient to pay the remainder, Mr. Bush? No. Uh, yes, Your Honor. All right, so Mr. Bush, you go ahead and pay what you can pay today. They'll give you your um, information at the traffic court desk on the second floor. And then I'll give you 60 days to pay the additional amounts. Mr. Bush, go to the Department of Driver Services. See if you are still eligible for a license. If you are not, then please stop driving, sir, because the next time it, it's going to keep adding up until you're going to end up with a felony conviction, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So just, I mean, you may be able to drive, but if you don't go and ask them to give you the test um, and try to get a license, they won't be able to tell you that. But if you know that you're not able to drive, then please stay off the roads because you don't want to um, accidentally hurt someone. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I've told Mr. Bush it's very important that he gets his license. And if he's not able to get his license to make sure he's using the Uber. Yeah, because Mr. Bush, you could be using, uh, paying somebody to drive you around, chauffeur you around, as opposed to paying these fines and fees to the court, or you could possibly get a license, and that's what, 40 bucks, as opposed to $1,420? Let's try and make economic sense, Mr. Bush. Yes, All right, thank you, sir. All right, so I'm going to um, accept your plea of NOLO, since you to pay a fine in the amount of $1,000. I've told you about the surcharges. I'll give you 60 days in which to pay. It is my understanding you're going to go down to the second floor when you come back through the double doors into the hallway. Go to your left, and you'll see the traffic court window. Pay as much as you wish to pay today, and then you'll pay the remainder within the 60 days, okay? Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you, sir. And don't be hard-headed, Mr. Bush. Man. All right. Thank you. Take care, sir. Be safe. Good luck to you. Good luck to you.